Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to make this frozen oriental um, stir fry. Now, of course, you don't have to use the frozen kind, but that's the only kind we have. It has water chestnuts and stuff like that, um, and it also has oriental sauce. So I put, I add chicken to it. I put about a tablespoon of olive oil into a pan. And with my chicken, I'm just cooking the chicken until it's browned, I would say. And then I like to pair it with rice. So I have two cups of white instant rice and two cups of water. And I'm going to boil the water. And I added salt to my water. So I added salt to my water. And I'm going to let this water boil. Now it was already boiled, but I stopped it so I can make you a video. Of course, I put you guys first um, because you guys are my channel. So I'm letting bubbles form up to the top of your water. So it should look like that. Like that, okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my two cups of white instant rice. Um, give it a quick stir. Remove from heat. And then put the lid on it. Okay, so then you can turn off your oven and let that rice cook. So now I cooked the chicken, and when the chicken's done, you add your stir fry right into the pan. And how you can thaw this out is you have a bowl of hot water. You have a bowl of hot water. Now, my faucet or my sink um, heats up really, really, really fast. So then you just place it into your bowl, let it thaw out, and then you have your stir fry and you put it in with your chicken. Then you take a spoon or a spatula or whatever you use and you just mix this up and now what you want to do so this is a really good meal oh a mushroom so this is a really good meal for a family. The ice will probably, the liquid from the frozen vegetables is gonna help them cook that. Yeah. The cool from the vegetables will help it cool or cook down. You don't wanna put that sauce in quite yet. Um, don't put the sauce in yet. Now this one had mushrooms, but I took them out because I really don't like mushrooms. But of course, you can keep them in. There's baby corn and there's peppers and all types of stuff. Now, if you're making a homemade um, stir fry, you normally use a wok. Now, a wok is a different type of pan and it's used for uh, stir fries. Okay, and now you're just gonna let this cook and keep stirring it so you do not burn the vegetables or you don't burn all like the goodness from the, the middle. middle. Where is the middle? Huh? Where is the middle? And then, put a lid on it and let that cook. Check on your rice. That's cool. 
Is it already done? Okay, so now when your rice is like kind of clumped together or kind of like, you know, almost cooked and there's still water on the bottom, put it back on the heat, mix your stir fry up again, and now you can take your oriental sauce out of your hot water and it should be thawed. Um, if it is not thawed, you can keep it in there. Um, or if it's not liquidy yet, you can keep it in there. Um, make sure your rice is all the way cooked before you um, take it out of, of the pan. So... It's basically like a waiting game on the vegetables because you keep checking on it. It won't be um, done for like 10, 15 minutes because they were the in the... When they start mm -hmm. You add the sauce when they're starting to get softer to the touch and kind of cooked. So, talking about this but if your kids I love vegetables my brother loves vegetables if your kids do not want to touch anything about vegetables you can feed them this put any sauce they want on top and you're done and that's a really good healthy alternative to normal like broccoli or something like that and this does still have some fat in it to keep them going but it also has chicken and vegetables to keep it still good i'm gonna check on my rice now and i think the rice should be done the rice should be done any second um the rice will catch up all the water so make sure there's no water left okay so now the um vegetables are kind of like soft to the touch not yet but you will take the i'm going to taste the chicken it's really good um make sure your stir fry thing is all the way cooked I'm gonna put the lid back on and I'm gonna talk about um, like if your kids actually don't like vegetables at all and they won't touch them they think they're disgusting they think they're gross this is what you feed them It's good for them, and they'll love it. They will love it, love it, love it, love it. Because I like it. I'm 10. My brother likes it. He is 7, and my other brother likes it, and he's 3. What? Little kids, 3 years old or younger, loves this recipe, or loves this because it's healthy for them, and it's also good because of the sauce. And it's just awesome together. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check on my vegetables. Stir fry it right now. So now I think.
Mix it up a little bit more. And you can take out a piece of broccoli and it's soft to the touch like mine right now. You're gonna take your Oreo sauce, okay? I still have it in the water. Take your Oreo sauce. You think it's ready? I'm gonna check it with a fork. I don't know. I checked a piece of broccoli as well. Okay, so. I'm gonna let it cook a little bit with that. Okay. okay. Oh. So now you take your Oriental sauce and we're going to let this um, mix, um, simmer. cook, simmer. or simmer with the Oriental sauce. Um, you don't want the stir fry or the vegetables to be all the way cooked. You want them just to be cooked enough so they can still be kind of cooked with the Oriental sauce in the pan. So now I'm going to take my spatula and what I'm going to mix, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it up and make sure every piece or everything is covered with this sauce. This sauce will make everybody's life better. It's so good. I love it. My brothers love it. Everybody loves it. Um, yeah. Um, now, you can make salads with this sauce. There's a salad somewhere that has Oriental sauce on it. I think it's Applebee's, and their Oriental sauce is really good. It's not brown like this one, but it doesn't have to be brown. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to put the lid back on, and then I'm going to check with the rice again. And you want to keep checking with the rice just to make sure you don't overcook the rice because when you overcook the rice it's gonna get how do i say it mushy almost kind of mushy and it's not gonna be really good so i think it's not a, i think the rice is done the rice will be done so should i take it off the so you can take it off the heat and this is instant rice, so it will be sticky. And you can also season this with more salt, pepper, and some people even like adding lemon juice to their rice. Um, I don't really like it, but if you like it, go ahead and do it. Um, it's, your, it's up to you, it's your food. Um, and that's it. So I'm going to talk to you guys and do like a little Q&A with you guys um, when that's, that's cooking. So, um, comment down below, do you like Dance Moms? I'm watching um, the new season right now, and I love it. There's so much drama. I just love it. <laughs> But comment down below if you know what happened to Abby. She's in a wheelchair and like she had cancer? Oh my goodness. Abby had cancer and now she's in a wheelchair. It's kind of sad, but she's like her same self. <laughs> what? What? Come here. Mmm, baby. <laughs> now, that's kind of sad that Eliana is scared of her of her um dance teacher now i'm in dance and i love my dance teacher she cannot be any nicer she i love her
she got a 300 points. 300 points, which means that's a perfect high or a perfect score. Not many people have that. When I mean not many people, I mean very minimal people. Happy Wednesday! Yay! <laughs> It's so good. It's so good. Mmm. Like, hot though. Mmm. I'm gonna put it right here, and I'm gonna put my pot of rice. Now this is very, very, very hot. So, do, so, so do not, so do not let. Um, if you have kids, do not let them touch this. Um, make sure you do not touch the back of the pan or inside or the side of the pan or anything like that because if you do. You will get burnt very, very bad, and nobody wants that. So this is what the rice looks like. It's very, very good, I promise. Pinky promise. Um, so, yeah. Ugh. Do you think the stir fry is done? Yes. Okay, so the stir fry is done. Um, turn off the heat, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I turned off this heat, and now it's basically time for you guys to eat. Let me set my plate for you, and I'm going to take a picture on my Instagram. Um, my Instagram will be down below. Um, I promise, promise, promise. And I will see you guys next time. Um, or next time, I'm going to do a Q&A. So go on my Instagram, DM me, or something. Um, I do not have Twitter, sadly. Because um, I'm not old enough. But DM me on Instagram. Um, some questions and I'll answer them next video because I will be doing a Q&A so bye guys I will see you guys next time bye